I have chosen to make my remarks on this matter because of their importance to the life and well-being of our country. You are aware that recently there has been legal petitions against my eligibility to stand as a presidential candidate in both 2021 and the future. This matter has been settled by the Constitutional Court. The reopening of what was settled remains illegal and a clear act of lawlessness. It is now common knowledge that the petitioners are surrogates of State House and the UPND. We have all seen pictures of the petitioners with my competitor, President Hakainde Hisilema, and in many cases with his ministers and senior UPND leaders. This doesn't bother us. However, what bothers us is the credible information that members of the judiciary are keen or have demonstrated interest to participate in these political and illegal schemes to ban me from participating in elections. It is for this reason that we have raised a petition of recusal on the need for some judges to recuse themselves to create distance, promote sense of impartiality, and remove those perceived to have vested interests in the case. My hope and prayers are that there will be respect accorded to my application currently before the court to help restore confidence in the courts, in the courts and the judiciary. The recent events where professionals have been removed and punished for doing a professional job makes a very sad turn of events. I have in mind the unconstitutional removal and harassment of the former Director of Public Prosecutions, Ms. Lillian Flata Shawa Siyuni, the Registrar of Societies, Tandiwe Piri Muhende, and the recent suspension of three constitutional judges, among others. All the complaints against the judges were comprehensively dealt with. We see that the matter has been, without cause or justification, reopened, and the judges now stand suspended. These developments are very serious and are undermining the rule of law and democracy in our land. A scheme to undermine the 2026 elections. It has become very evident that schemes designed to undermine the 2026 presidential and general elections have been heightened. From secret issuance of NRCs or national registration cards to the secret registration of voters. Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, has not bothered to publicize this exercise and has not bothered to conduct it in an open manner. All these devious schemes are being implemented, implemented to attempt to destroy the opposition, decimate viable and credible candidates, and present an opportunity for the UPND to see you the 2026 election. Our call is that the participation of democratic institutions, such as parliament, judiciary, and the Electoral Commission of Zambia, in these illegal and dangerous schemes being perpetrated by State House, would amount to the act of treachery and reversal to our democratic values and the democracy we constantly all aspire to achieve. These actions are threatening our national security and our cherished peace. 
We make this call to Zambians, who are the real custodians of both our peace and security, that democratic dividends end so far must not be lost. Both our independence in 1964 and our democracy in 1991 were hard fought for, and the sacrifices made by our forefathers must never be sacrificed at the altar of political expedience and narrow partisan interests being perpetrated by President Hichilema. Instead of focusing on the numerous challenges and crises facing our country, such as load shedding, high cost of living, poverty, unemployment, lack of economic opportunity, volatile exchange rate, rising debt, and rising inflation, and the economic collapse that we face, President H.H. Hichilema is engaged in schemes to retain power at all costs, even at the expense of destroying our democracy and the rule of law. What did he find when he assumed office? What was the price of meal meal, fuel, electricity, fertilizer, cooking oil, sugar? Ask yourself these questions. What was the price of meal meal? What was the price of fuel? What was the price of electricity, fertilizer, cooking oil? and sugar, amongst other commodities, at the time he assumed office. Today, in the case of fuel, he reduces it by one quarter, two quarter, from 30, I don't know what it was, and he says he has put a reduction. The challenge is, can he take the prices back to where he found them, if he has failed to reduce them? To win elections, one must work for the people and the economy of the country. One must not plot to retain power against the will of the people. HH must face me and he should desist using cowardly and dirty political schemes to ban me participating in the election.